Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain problem on this Anderson bridge, a simple problem on Anderson bridge and as well as a DSATIS bridge. There is a one more bridge known as DSATIS bridge. We will go there. So, problem on this Anderson bridge, uh, an inductive coil was tested by an Anderson bridge. The following are the values on the bridge. So, unknown resistance R1 and L1. See, let us draw the circuit diagram first. Unknown resistor R1 and L1. So, take the unknown resistor R1 and L1. R1, L1. R1, L1 which is between A and B. Take this node as B. Now, BC, CD, AD are having resistors like your basic uh, standard Anderson's bridge. Okay. So, this is R2. Let us take this as uh, something R3. Otherwise, it is R3. Okay. Whatever it is, R3. And this one is R4. As your normal... Uh, Convention uh, diagram says this one is the capacitance C and this one is the resistance R5. Okay, now let us take the input supply between these two. Here it is E supply E. Okay, so BC is E. What are the values of these? Let us substitute those values also. Resistors having 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohms respectively. So it is 1 kilo ohm, R3 is 1 kilo ohm, and it is 2 kilo ohms. A, B, C. This one C, this one is D, and this is E. Okay, B, C, C, D. B, C, C, D and ad so 1 kilo 1 kilo and 2 kilo okay now, a capacitor of 10 microfarad and resistor so this is 10 microfarad and what about this one r5 is 400 ohms 400 ohms okay so this is the circuit diagram for a, such type of questions always you should focus on the circuit diagram whatever the nodes given you can take either in the anti-clockwise direction or in the clockwise direction then represent the, as per the circuit diagram then you will get the original circuit whatever you have in the explanation sir. okay so once you are able to draw the circuit diagram everything is goes very easy so what are the formula of this uh, l1 and r1 so simply r1 is Equal to we have R1 is equal to what is the formula for R1? R2 R4 by R3. R2 R4 by R3. So that is equal to what is R2 here? Same whatever we have taken here. You can substitute 1 kilo into R4. 2 power 2 kilo divided by what is R3? 1 kilo. 1 into 10 power 3. So, 1 kilo, 1 kilo gets cancelled. Simply, we have 2 kilo ohms. So this is what the value of R1. R1 is equal to 2 kilo ohms simply. Okay. Mm. Okay. Next. What is the other one? L1. What is the formula for L1? L1 is equal to L1 is equal to C R2 into R4 plus R5 plus R4 R5 divided by R3. R4 R5 divided by R3. So substitute these values. Very easy. No need to even use the calculator. So L1 substitute the values L1 is equal to C into R2. What is C? 10 microfarad into R2 means R2 1 kilo. So 10 into 10 microfarad into 1 kilo. So 10 power 3 into R4 plus R5. R4 is 2 kilo. R5 is 400 ohms. So 2000 plus 400 plus 
R4 plus R5. So it is 2000 plus R5 means where is R5? Here it is 400 again divided by 1 kilo. So 2000 into 4000 400 in divided by 1 kilo. Okay, R4, R5 by R3. So now these three, these three cancel. It is equal to 10 power, 10 into 10 power minus 3 because these three, these three cancel. Uh, here it is 800. Here it is 800 and this is 2400. This is totally 3200. Okay. So that is equal to 32,000. If you multiply this with 10, 32,000 into 10 power minus 3. So that is equal to 3200. L1. Okay. Very simple. Just taking the notation and substituting the values. So that's it. But provided if you just replace what if R5 and R4, the values will be different. Formula you may write correct, but if you uh, unfortunately if you forget this R5 here and R4 here and R3 here, suppose if you replace the values, then if you use the same formula, then it will be a different problem. Okay, you, you have remembered the formula like this, like R4, R5 and R3 are like this. But when you are representing in the circuit diagram, R2 you have kept here, that is okay because 1 here, 2 here and 3 suppose you have taken here, 4 you have taken here. Okay, as, as it is the uh, next uh, going uh, circuit, then definitely it will be 5. But with 3 and 4, it, you don't interchange the values 3 and 4. Okay, if you take notation as per the original circuit diagram, what the textbook shows, then take in the same way because you, you have to use the same formula. Suppose if you are changing these notations, then you have to concentrate on the formula also. So if these values are interchanged, then again it will be a problem. Okay, so this is the uh, problem on this Anderson's bridge. Next, I am going to explain you what a DeSartis bridge is. Okay, so DeSartis bridge is an AC bridge. It is also coming under the category of AC bridge that works on the principle of Wheatstone's bridge. So DeSartis bridge is not a novel bridge. It works with the simple uh, Wheatstone's bridge operation. This bridge is used to determine the capacity of unknown capacitor in terms of the capacity of known capacitor or a standard capacitor. Very easy. That means unknown capacitance can be measured in terms of the known capacitance. Okay, like your shearing bridge. So here resistors are non-inductive resistors. Whatever the resistors we are using, they are pure resistors. And Groover made certain modifications to DSRT's bridge for more accurate measurement. So the basic standard DSRT's bridge may not give proper values. That's why the Groover, what he did, he changed some modifications. He do he has done some modifications to get more accurate results of this uh, DSRT's bridge. See here, the first arm, second arm consisting of resistors, whereas the third arm, fourth arm are having only capacitors. Okay, whatever if you take this as 1 and this as 2, this as 3 and this as 4, whatever it is, no problem. But when you are have to, when you have to write the bridge balance condition, because the unknown values you need to find out. When you are writing the unknown values, calculating the unknown values, then you have to write, take the value um, Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. Okay. So the bridge, this bridge is having maximum sensitivity when these capacitors C1 and C2 are equal. Okay, C1 and C2 are equal. If these two capacitors are equal, then it will be having more sensitivity. More sensitivity. If, the, if both capacitors are not free from dielectric loss, to obtain the perfect balance is difficult. If these two are not perfectly manufactured, okay, they are not free from the dielectric constant, then it is very difficult to get the balancing condition. Okay. 
that means a perfect balance can be obtained only if the capacitors are made up of air capacitors that means there should be uh, no dielectric loss okay there should be no dielectric loss if dielectric material is there definitely some dielectric loss is there so in order to avoid that concept or uh, that unbalanced condition we have to go for the capacitor selection as a air capacitors okay so now uh, let us go through the bridge balanced condition and how to get the values uh, here bridge balanced condition values bridge balanced when Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. So let us take this as Z1, this as Z2, and this as Z3, and this as Z4. Take a single notation always. Uh, uh, irrespective of the values given here, whether it is R2 or R3. Okay. So finally, we are going to calculate the value of this capacitance C1. Okay. Now, this unknown capacitance E1 is going to be calculated in the known or standard capacitance value C2. So, now R1, Z1 is nothing but Z1 is equal to R1, Z2 is equal to C1, that is 1 by J omega C1, Z3 is equal to R2, Z4 is equal to 1 by J omega C2. Okay, so now substitute these values R1 into 1 by J omega C2 that is equal to 1 by J omega C1 into what is J3? It is nothing but R2. So after multiplication, you may have this calculation. See, J, uh, J omega, J omega gets cancelled. What we have? Simply R1 by C2 is equal to R2 by C1. What I said, C1 is the unknown capacitance value. We are going to calculate in the standard and known capacitance that is C2. So C1 is equal to R2 C2 by simply R1. R2 C2 by simply R1. So this is what the bridge balancing condition, the unknown capacitance C1. Okay, so if these capacitance, if C1 is equal to C2, then sensitivity, sensitivity of the bridge, sensitivity of the bridge is maximum. So maximum sensitivity can be obtained if the capacitor values are equal, then the bridge will be in proper condition balanced condition now what about the balanced condition bridge is balanced for the capacitors made up of air as a dielectric medium okay suppose instead of air we are using any dielectric material which is a lossy material then definitely the bridge is not balanced well so for accurate measurements we have to go for the air capacitors okay so this is about disartist bridge which is a special bridge like your normal capacitance measurement bridge. Thank you.